now at 6. A change at the top. Broward County Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipes is stepping aside. Dr. Snipes submitted her resignation to Governor Rick Scott hours after the end of the recount that thrust her into the national spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Her resignation is effective January 4th, so what's next for Broward and the elections office there? CBS 4's Joan Murray is live at Broward Election Headquarters in Lauder Hill for more on that. Joan. Well, the supervisor has another 45 days before she officially leaves her post, and it is not clear right now exactly when she's going to be moving out her papers. And now the big question is, who will replace her? See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. When she waved goodbye to reporters Sunday after the manual recount was over, Broward Election Supervisor Brenda Snipes penned her final goodbye, telling the governor, Although I have enjoyed this work tremendously, I am ready to pass the torch. Therefore, I request you accept my resignation, effective January 4, 2019. Snipes hinted she would step down last week. But it is time to move on to let someone else, maybe be one of you guys out there, you're steeped in election business. Uh, I think it's good that Brenda Snipes has submitted her resignation. Uh, there was no way as governor that I was going to let her preside over another election down there after all the problems that they had. Snipes, a Democrat, was roundly criticized for her handling of the midterm. The parking lot of her office overrun with protesters daily. Governor Rick Scott and President Trump made unsubstantiated claims she was trying to steal the election. We will complete the recount. There's never been a deadline that we have missed. Despite promises, Snipes missed a state deadline for the machine recount last week after a rocky start to the process and complaints of the slow returns following the election. Uh, certainly uh, the last go around has not been the most positive thing. Former Broward Democratic Party Chair Mitch Caesar said while a Republican governor appointed a Democrat to the elections job in 2003, history will not repeat itself. And the optic dictates perhaps to appoint a Republican perhaps as a caretaker to fix the office. It's very hard to equate the two 16 years apart. Uh, also, uh, Governor DeSantis does have a positive opportunity to go into a Democratic county and appoint a Democrat. But you'll get as many different opinions as people you talk to. Anyone who says they know, don't know. It is anybody's guess what Ron DeSantis may do. Now, this position pays $178,000. A year. Once again, it is unclear when she is going to be vacating the office. In Lauder Hill tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4D.